Welcome back to Wager Talk. Today we are talking early season NFL betting. I'm here with some of my favorite Vegas experts. We're going to start off with the man to my left, Teddy Covers. Teddy, listen, we watched four weeks of the NFL preseason, and then I get to see all these second and third string guys who probably aren't even going to start. Like, it doesn't show me anything in regard to regular season, right? Well, sure it does. Uh, but what's most important is that the markets pay a lot of attention to what's going on in the preseason. You know, for preseason football, you'll see the starters on the field in meaningful games in week two and week three. You know, week two, they'll play a quarter to two. Week three, sometimes they play into the second half. But the markets take those five or six quarters of football and go insane. If a team looked good, the markets are going to love this team. If a team looked bad, the markets will hate this team, regardless of any other circumstances. So oftentimes, at the very beginning of the season, you'll see teams either wildly overvalued or wildly undervalued based just on what happened in these non-meaningful games in August. Very nice. Tony Fenn, I'm going to kick it to you. Tell me what you like about betting early NFL. I don't like betting early NFL, particularly – well, as Teddy just said, there's, uh, if, if, if I do, it's on the teams that I believe are considerably undervalued. Uh, you have to ignore preseason, first off. I mean, what Teddy said, there's, there's factors that come into play. Who makes the team? Who's cut? What's the final roster? Who's getting the snaps? Um, I'm one of those that believe and have pe people argued to, to death that I believe defenses are ahead of offenses early in the season, and there's a lot of variables to take in to consider week one, but... You cannot in any sort of, there's going to be teams that are overhyped, uh, the public teams, uh, uh, New England, um, Green Bay and such, but I'm one that concentrates on the, the teams that I believe are going to be undervalued. Those that, uh, those, and, and maybe to end my discussion here, maybe the most important thing for me is, is to avoid uh, making mistakes or not, not so much on power rankings and those kind of things that, that are difficult to gauge in week one, but uh, making betting mistakes early, and that's, that's expecting everyone to be healthy and uh, to perform like they do or they did in preseason. Marco D'Angelo, give me some early NFL betting tips here. I love the dogs. We always know that. I'm always looking. I liked what Tony said, talking about the value here. It's easy to talk about finding the value. It's how do you find that value? Well, I'll give you a couple instances. I don't know what's going to happen, but let's say this preseason, the Raiders go 3-1 and one or 4-0 and oh in preseason. The hype train is going to be off the charts because Gruden's back out of retirement and coaching. You've got that big name, and you're going to be paying a premium for them. But we know that in preseason, not every coach goes to win. So if Gruden wants to win, he's going to win these preseason games if he wants to, and it's going to – inflate the line to start the regular season, I would be stepping in looking for the value to go against them. Also watch teams that had late season holdouts. Last year, the example, the, my Pittsburgh Steelers, Le'Veon Bell held out all of training camp, come in late. It took him a month to get into form. But the minute he's in the lineup, Vegas creates that line like it's Le'Veon Bell of old. You can't have that. They're going to be rusty, and it disrupts the continuity of the team. I'm going to finish off with the legend, Dave Koken. Dave Koken, talk to me about how you like to bet early. Well, no, I, I, and this is, I'm really serious about this, especially for new bettors, because there's going to be a lot of them with the legalized wagering that's starting to spread across the country. And veteran bettors can learn a lesson here, too. You're going to hear a lot about where's the sharp money, where's the square money, pros versus Joes. Okay, so here's the lesson. They're not handicapping, okay? True shops play numbers. They don't play teams, they play numbers. If you start following that information, while the shops are on this, well, you're, you're betting into a bad number because they already got the best of it. And this is why, as a classic example, and I know they lost on a regular basis the last two years, but the Browns were over and over again a sharp side. It wasn't the Browns that were the sharp side, it was the number that was the sharp side. And the pros would come in and beat the crap out of the number, and you had these steam chasers stepping in and taking a bad team at a bad number on top of that. You want to talk about a bad bet. Stop getting wrapped up, or if you're a beginning better, don't get overly uh, sucked in by this pros versus Joes nonsense. You will lose money if you do so. All right, guys, good stuff. $2 Tuesday. Get the hottest Wager Talk handicapper for only 2 bucks. 
every Tuesday. And also, as always, if you like these videos, please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, click that share button, share it with all your friends.